at the stage door with Sadie Gale and Roy Reed, Mo McKecky. Good night, Joe. See you in the morning. That's right, Mr. Griffiths. Don't forget that there's an 11 o'clock rehearsal here in the morning. I'll be here on time. Blimey, what's this coming down the lane to the stage door? Well, what do you want? You'll excuse me, but is this the stage door? Of course it's a stage door. Who are you and what do you want? Well, my name's Moe McKecky and I'd like to speak to the leading actress, please. To who? The leading actress. You mean the leading actress, Miss Sadie Gale. But it's too late. Miss Gale sends the laundry to the Chinaman. What's his name? Me too. <laughs> I'll say you do. <laughs> Listen, wise guy. What's your business with Miss Gale? Just tell her that there's a gentleman I'd like to see her, please. A gentleman? Oh, <laughs> blind me. Look at the gentleman. Listen, old man, you keep on talking. And your tongue will get the rest of your body into trouble. Now kindly deport Miss Gale of my disappearance and request her to grant me the flavour of a disappointment. Okay, okay, okay. Miss Gale? Miss Gale? Yes, Joe? There's a gentleman here who wishes to see you. <laughs> Well, I'll slip on something and come down. Well, I hope she doesn't slip on the soap. Gentlemen, eh? <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> oh, what a vulgar doorman. Oh, they said there was a gentleman here to see me. Yeah, well, do you think I look like a sand crab? Oh, did you wish to see me? Yes, Miss Gale, of course. You wouldn't know me, but I've been in the show every, in the show every night for a week. And I waited to come down and make your acquaintance. I know it's very impredicable to come down like this without being produced in the proper manner, but I've, I've admired you from the front and I want to meet you personally in the face. Of course, Miss Gal, I don't belong to the city. I'm a boy from the bush. I come from Bandy Wallop. Well, not exactly Bandy Wallop. I live 50 miles on the outskirts of Bandy Wallop. I'm a shepherd. I look after the sheep. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Are you staying down here long? No, I'm going back tomorrow by a goods train, and I'll be lucky if I get there Friday week. Well, I, uh, I hope you'll have a very comfortable journey. Oh, I'll be all right, Miss Gale. I'll be with the sheep. You don't mean to tell me you're travelling with the sheep? Right me, yes. They, they wouldn't go without me. Look, I'm like a mother to them. As a matter of fact, Miss Gale, I'm taking back some new ewes. Ewes? What are you? Sheila sheep. Do you know, Miss Gale, sheep are very hard to rear. Well, I, I didn't know that. Oh, yes, look, some of them you've got to peel up the bottle. On the bottle? Well, that's the best I can do for them. Do, look, okay. do, do you know what they call me up a bandy wallop? No, what? F Florence Nightshirt. I, I mean, oh. Nightingale. <laughs> well, I had no idea that sheep were so hard to rear. Well, of course, you like the rest of the easy-going public, Miss Gale. You run along on the trains and you look out the windows and you say, Dear, dear, doesn't those little sheep look beautiful? But you've no idea how hard it is to raise those little lambs. Oh, and uh, have you raised many lambs? Millions, and I've never lost a father yet. <laughs>